the coach gave me a bit of a summons. He's like, I've got a very good record here as a player. And um, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, but uh, luckily my strike rate now is 50%. Lost one, won one. And yeah, this is a brilliant day for us. Could you believe in your wildest dreams that two and a half days in innings and 12 runs? Not at all. Um, definitely didn't think that waking up this morning. I was thinking the guys got to bat long and hard and try and extend that lead of ours. And um, yeah, we're... When it's our turn to come and bowl, we got to put the ball in the right area, thinking it might flatten out. But um, yeah, on a Nokia spell was something that just broke the back, and um, yeah, he ran in with a lot of intent and a lot of anger, and it was it was great to watch from where I was fielding. I'm sure it was a nice to face. Look, it's not a one-off either. I think back to Christchurch at Hagley Park where you won the toss on that green seamer and everyone thought, what is he doing? And in the series against India, this is just another one, well, for you, but for the team that is really saying that you're, you've almost arrived on the international scene in terms of test match in this uh, World Test Series. Yeah, I think either way, my decisions uh, come with a lot of positivity into the camp. Uh, I want the guys to go out and express themselves, um, even though we play in South African way. Um, it's our way, it's a unique way. And slowly but surely, we're building on that. Um, for me, the toss is just a decision that one guy has to make and the rest of them have to follow. And um, the guys are doing a great job with that. And, uh, yeah, very grateful with the young squad that, that I have over there. We sit in the commentary box and we say, oh, why is he doing that? Why is he bringing Ma- Maharaj on and from the pavilion and all these sorts of things? But how do you rate yourself in terms of your own captaincy decisions this test? I think I've got a very good uh, think tank behind the scenes. Um, got good, good coaches with a lot of advice, and I, I process the advice as well. Sometimes you just go with l- uh, gut and a bit of luck, and yeah, as things work out, um, I did today with Kesh, obviously getting a, a few wickets, and then uh, bringing Anna on, who uh, it bowls the speed of light when he gets it right. And um, yeah, I think a lot of it boils down to gut feel and. Yeah, never settling uh, for what I have, always trying to get better with my, with my job. A lot of chat coming into this test match about the lack of experience from the South African squad in England and at Lords, but this new batting partnership with Sorrell Levere is, is working out beautifully for you. Yeah, it's been a good one, touch with so far. <laughs> um, having Solar around, he's, he's actually quite an experienced cricketer, maybe not in the international scene, but um, in his own personal capacity, he's played a lot of professional cricket. Um, yeah, he's a good player, that's why he's here. And, um, we get along well off the field, and he's a he's a good, really really good team a team man to have. Uh, also, pretty feisty when he gets going, and uh, doesn't give his wicket away, which is nice to see. And um, yeah, I think it's uh, still a work in, uh, in progress. Uh, we've started pretty well, and yeah, hopefully, I can continue. Just one from three. What are the messages to the players, but also to all the fans back home? Uh, well, we'll enjoy tonight. I'm sure it is Friday after all. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think we're going to take the next two days and just take it all in and enjoy this experience. I'm sure we're not going to rush off anytime soon. Being here at Lords, it's a a great experience. Let's take it all in and uh, yeah, let the young guys uh, enjoy the moment. I think security will get over time. It'll be about 2am probably. (laughs) Enjoy that moment though. Congratulations.